One of my favorite stories comes from the book of 1 Kings, the 19th chapter. It starts in the 18th chapter when Elijah has a battle with the prophets of Baal and after he proves the mighty power of God, he has the people kill the prophets of Baal. And then he hears that Jezebel, the queen, hears from Ahab, the king, that Elijah has killed her prophets. She's not an Israelite. And he gets scared and he panics and he runs away. And so he goes out into the desert and he says, God, please let me die. This is too much. I can't take it anymore. An angel of the Lord comes to him twice and says, gives him a cake baking on a rock and some water, tells him to eat, and then does it a second time, tells him to eat, and then says, go to the mountain of God. So Elijah goes up to the mountain of God. Then the word Lord came to Elijah. What are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. For the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altar, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it. He said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong that it was splitting the mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, the sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle, and he went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then there came a voice to him that said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it away. And the Lord said to him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazel king over Aram. You shall anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king over Israel. And you shall anoint Elijah, the son of Shaphat, of Abel Mahole, as prophet in your place. Elijah thought he was all alone, but there were all these other people there to carry out God's mission. But what I want to lift up is the one part where God's not in the great wind. God's not in the great earthquake. God's not in the great fire. God's in the sheer silence. The sound of sheer silence. Do we ever give ourselves an opportunity to experience silence? To just be? Not to be doing or acting or, but to be. To just sit back and listen to what God might be calling us to in the sound of silence. The sound of sheer silence. Do we ever turn off all of our gadgets and our TVs and everything else that makes noise and just Listen, just be instead of do, just be a child of God and not be acting, but just be being. Silence.
Lord God, <clears throat> help us to be. Help us to know that you love us beyond our actions, beyond our work, beyond our time of play. You love us just as we are. Help us to be. Help us to be your children. Help us to be loving. Help us to be because of you. Amen. <clears throat>